Hi, it's Juanita McDowell with the Real Estate Technology Institute. Today I'm going to show you how to create that survey form and it's going to be user friendly. As you can see, this is a customer survey form, but it's boring and it's dull and it's not user friendly. If someone has to type inside of this line or on this line, when they type, as you can see, the line is going to look very unprofessional. So instead of having a survey form that looks like that, we can make it a little jazzier, more professional, and much more user friendly. And in fact, now the user simply has to click in the box and pull down to say select a date. Overall, how would you rate our part in your real estate transaction? Choose an item. Pull down. Excellent. And a question like what could we do to improve? Begin typing. And there are no line issues. So how do we pull this off? At the top, I've only inserted a logo. As far as customer satisfaction survey con is concerned, as you can see, that's just a matter of typing the words, but also I used a style, which means that I clicked here and chose intense quote, but you certainly can choose any one that you like. But for my purposes, I like this one. I simply changed the color. This part was typed, no big deal. But this next section is a little trickier. So let me tell you what you have to do. Step one, you must make sure you have the developer tab showing. By default, this tab is not showing. So let me show you how to add it. Go backstage, also call the file tab and give it a click. Choose options, choose customize ribbon and under customize the ribbon, with main tab selected, make sure you have a check mark in the developer box and then say, okay. Then the developer tab will appear. Now let's go to a form we haven't completed. This gives you an example of how this works. So for name, we're going to click on the developer tab. That's going to be plain text. So we have two options here. So we're in the developer tab in the controls group. We can choose to have plain text or we can actually choose rich text. Rich text will give us the, or give the user the ability to bold or italicize. So if you like to choose that, that's fine. And as you can see, click here to enter text. Now closing date, since it's a date, we want a calendar option. So let's find one up here. That looks like a little date picker. Let's give it a click. Overall, how would you rate our part in your real estate transaction? If you have choices like excellent, good, fair, poor, then you have, or would like say drop down options. So we're going to choose. And this particular box is a drop down list content control. So let's give that a click. Now we've chosen an item as you can see in that same controls group, there are properties. So let's give properties a click. And then we want to add those properties down here. So we would say display excellent. So choose an item excellent or good. You get the idea. Say okay and okay. Now when someone gets to this item, give it a click down and they can choose very slick. And then what can we do to improve? Again, is a text box selection. How can we contact you about this evaluation? Is it yes or no? So you could opt to do a choose an item and additional comments would be text. So now you're seeing exactly how we were able to add options to our form. How do we make it look a little better than this? Well, this is a table. So as soon as I click inside of the table, table tools comes up. And within table tools, there are table styles. So I can actually pick any table that I like. That's grid table six colorful accent one. Okay, so now we have a form that we have created.